everyone. Welcome to Girl in Real Life. I am Tams, and it is Scary Saturday. Now, I'm hoping I have the option to start a new game once this game loads. I'm super excited. We are going to be playing The Walking Dead, and I did play it for about three or four minutes to do a sound check and a video check to make sure we were recording all right. So I'm hoping it will let me start a new game. Let's find out. I've been wanting to play this for some time fan of the show and of the comic books. Uh, tell me you're not going to let me start a new one. Really? Hmm. Alright then. Alright, I'm going to play and I may have to catch you up on the first like minute. Oh, new game. Sweet. All right, episode one, let's go. We're gonna go standard because I've never played this before, so are you ready? Let's go. Apparently this game has a lot of agency, like a choose your own adventure story, so I get kind of excited. I will probably keep my talking to a fair minimum so we can hear the story and so on and so forth, but we shall see. Why did you shift? All right, we're good. Steph and I have been buying lots of games through the Humble Bundle. We are sitting at 160 some odd games. I'm very excited. Episode 1, A New Day. Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Why do you say that? You know what they say about reckoning? Does it really matter? Why do you say that? It's a limited amount of time to make a choice. Oh, I guess I did. Why do you say that? You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. Oh, now, and what do you say? Not for me, every time. Not for me. Because go. guys in your position already said it enough. Followed your case a little bit, you being a making boy and all. Also, you got an opinion, man? Wouldn't say that. I go in for that innocent till proven guilty thing, even considering who they say you kill. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on my sixth year. You meet your wife in Athens? You want to know how I see it? Sure. I'm going to play him all polite like. Sure. Regardless, it could be you just married the wrong woman. The ID, or maybe she married the wrong guy. Could be. <laughs> oh, so I'm not actually. I understand what the problem is. I'm not clicking the button to select, I'm just rolling the mouse. So we're gonna try, I gotta watch that. I'm driving this man once. He, he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do 
He was an older fella, big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Said it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're sitting. Then before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. And I tell him he's got to stop. But that's government property, and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all of his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. <laughs> Maybe he was innocent. Maybe he was innocent. Innocent? They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. It goes to show, people will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious if I do say so. This other time... Oh, Jesus. Oh, it scared me. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, no, don't kill me. all by myself today. Step is at a Modern Masters uh, draft at our LGS. So, yeah, it's just me and Salem. Uh -oh. oh, no, zombies. Zombies. Pet words? Where's our friend? Oh, he died. Use a mouse to look around and find a way out of the car. Okay. Let's How check. the hell did he have his gun out? Uh, Maybe it was tossed in the car during the wreck. All right. Let's see where the. Handcuffed hand there we go. <coughs> now move toward the window using the forward key. Sweet. I need to drag myself out that window. carry with these cuffs off. Officer? Oh, 
Hopefully he has the keys on him. Aha! Take the key. Hi, Enigma. We have another cat visiting. Alright, what am I supposed to do? I guess I... Uh -huh. Unlock the handcuffs. Sounds good. Oh. Pick him up. I guess I'm in pain. Let's try that again a little more. There we go. All right. Um, I have to unlock the other one. Alrighty. Good stuff. Oh. <gasps> Jesus. trip over things, please. Oh my god. Go faster, go faster, go faster, go faster. It shamble away, nothing to see here. Keep going. Phew. Dude, that was intense. Hello? Anybody? What the heck? I wonder if anybody's home. Go to the house and check what's going on in there. Look at the tea set. Give me one of those teacups with some bourbon if I could. Help! Okay, so that's not how we go. How do we get up there? Let's get closer so I have the option. Uh, there we go. Go on up and check it out. Hello, anybody home? I need a little help. Hello.
coming in. Don't shoot, okay? Oh, I really am not talking much. <laughs> this is pretty intense. Oh, boy. I think we need to tend Whoa. to our wound. I'm not an intruder. Well, not One really. Him. Oh, there's blood everywhere. This is awesome. Stop beeping. We need to get mm. Marshalls. That's a Savannah area code. But that's the type of note you'd leave a babysitter. <laughs> Nothing. Alright. Let's get out of here. Let's go find the phone. Where's the phone? There it is. Maybe there's something up there. Sandra, this is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before the spring break. Message two, left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Oh, please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Marietta. I, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message three, left at 
Are you safe? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. Achievement's called Adventures in Babysitting. That is gross. Man. That was nasty. Right Did you kill it? Yes. Yes. It's okay. I think she was a monster. Yeah, I think so, too. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah. I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while, you know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? Look for help. Get out of here once the sun goes down. Look for help. We look need to find help before it gets dark. Yeah. You can choose it's the not safety safe of daylight. Night. Let's go. Stay close to me. Sweet pea. Oh, man, I ain't never. 
never getting home to mom at this rate. This sucks. Come on, fuck this night. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? We'll leave you alone. They won't. Let's go. I won't leave you alone. Yeah, but go. Well, let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's a good idea. Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat it! We're not gonna <laughs> hurt you. Well, for a second, you and the little one were both gonna get us a chump. <laughs> we're looking we for need help. help. Are you trying to get out of here? Because you should be. Those things are all over the damn place. I haven't seen anything as gnarly as this neighborhood since downtown Atlanta, 15 miles back. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. I'm Chet. You shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm like not her dad. I'm just some guy. Some guy? Yeah. She's alone? Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. What do you want to do? I... The monster's coming. Just some guy? It seems like you saved a bunch of lives today. You're in charge. Uh oh. Whoa, uh -oh. I don't want to be in charge. I don't think this is Herschel's farm. Very pretty, though. Hey, Sean, I'm gonna run on home. My mama's gonna be in a snit. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. I was worried it would be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. I was wrecking down the way since the mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. <laughs> I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. You've brought a couple guests. Your boy's a lifesaver. Your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter, then? Oh, not his daughter. He's, well, just... Some guy who found her alone. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay, then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not going so good. I can help you out. Sean, Aww. run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Super nice. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. Could, Could be worse. That's what it sounds like. Seems like things got awful bad in the city. What did you say your name was? It's, it's Lee. Lee. 
Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. Hey, Herschel. How'd this happen? Just nipping. Temple of fit. Running from something? Just like everybody else. What type of danger has the girl seen? The kind there's a lot of. She had a few lonely days with nothing but the dead keeping her company. I still just can't imagine it. Consider yourself lucky. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem Clementine. It is. I can Herschel's imagine now. what you've been through, Clementine. It's cool. Um, looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we got to reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone has ideas of where you are. Your son's right. You're going to want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Oh, Dad, I'm Herschel. serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. Dead people walking. We got chased by a couple of dead people. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We got to do it. Really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. If your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Okay, that'd be preferable. <laughs> There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards Macon, I suppose. Macon, Georgia. Sounds like a plan. All right, then. It smells like... Manure. Manure? Like when a horse plops? Just <laughs> like that. <laughs> I miss my mom and dad. Aww. I bet, honey. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. guy we don't even know why he was arrested hey killing his up. wife i guess <sighs> but why what itchy well you slept in a barn little lady lucky you don't have spiders in your hair <gasps> but i bet your daddy scared them all away huh i'm uh not her dad name's lee i'm kenny dad we're in the middle of a fence there's a tractor and everything we better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Duck? Yeah, nothing bothers him. It's like water off a duck's back, you know? Oh, that's, that's cute. That's a valuable trait lately. No kidding. But frankly, I think it's because he's dumb as a bag of hammers. Dad! But he makes up for it with enthusiasm. The word is, you were on your way to make it. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Oh, I'll see good. what the girl was like. Ah, gotta consult the missus. I understand. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. 
You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On a tractor? Cool! Chuck and I will hop to it. That's cute. What a nice guy. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. He's going you to get... can visit. They're all going to get eaten. Alright. Be sure to check in with everyone you've met so far. Hey there, uh, Kitty. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? I think I've got it handled okay. As long as I keep her safe, I think I'm doing all right. With those things out there, maybe. Sure, that's enough. But you gotta ask yourself if you're the type of guy who can do better than that if her parents don't show up. I'll keep that in mind. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. The government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. That's a smart idea. A I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Not Katya dolphin. wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. Not dolphin. How's your son doing? Good, I think. Katya's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. It's lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. See you. I did show an interest in his family because I'm interested in his family. Alright. Look at Katya. Seems like those two are getting along. Alright, so let's go find There's the tractor. We're gonna go head over to No, around the tree. Around the tree. Keep going. You can do it there. Look at Duck. Talk to Duck. Talk to Duck. How you doing, Duck? Good! I'm gonna drive the tractor! Lift with your back, Sean. Okay, then. How you doing, Duck? Good. I'm going to drive the tractor. That's all he's going to say. I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. All right, then. Let's talk to Sean. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bikes to length, that'd sure speed things up. Dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Oh. He just shot him right in the face. Damn. Oh shit, Dad. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. It won't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to offer one yet? Oh. Uh, bastard. Poor girl's brains in. Whoa. I couldn't do that. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? My brother and parents are in Lincoln. I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. No problem. Hey Sean, thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. Alright. 
time to head off to the barn. Alright, let's go talk to Herschel. You should know that if you weren't leaving with Penny today, I would be strong for your lack of honesty last night. Huh? But sure, I follow. How'd you get out of Atlanta? I got a ride and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. The farm's a nice plot of land. <laughs> Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. That's all that matters. Do you agree with that? Was brought up to? Yeah. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? My parents are in Macon with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? Yeah. I was looking for help at her house. Hmm. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Sure. Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the city, or they get worse before they do. You're going to have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're going to make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're going to be in trouble. Well, at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. Oh, shit. Go! I'll get my gun! that ride to make it if you want. So off we go to make it.
This is as far as we're going. And it's far enough. Oh, dear. I have a cat sitting on my shoulders, and it's a little <laughs> difficult to work the controls. Hey, buddy. Cats, the official animal of this channel. Yeah. Now, is that a person or hey is there. that a. Is that you dead? friendly? Trucks run out of gas. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, god. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Must run, must run, must run, must run, must run. Go! Just. Come on. We just. Help that. Oh, hello. Run! Cool. Just go! Alright. They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. That was You'll mean have something me. in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. She's not wrong. They took a risk. Yes, we did. And we appreciate it. Let's settle down. Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. Over my dead body, we'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no fight. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It, it's... Lily, I'll handle this. We reason with him. Bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. No one will frick with my boy. Everyone, chill the fuck out! Nobody's doing anything. Shut up, Lily! And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten! Please stop this! It's upsetting him! Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. Dad, we get it. It's a big deal. What if this was your daughter? Never would have happened. She's not some snot-nosed toddler, okay? She's United States Air Force. Fuck you and her. I'm gonna kill him, Cat. Worry about nothing. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. <gasps> looking out for my, my decision's daughter. gonna no, make her die. I have a funny feeling, and I'm gonna be He's super covered sad. in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, once she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. She'll turn fast. And then, he'll be free. Then we do what you say. Toss him out and save the group. Lee? What the fuck, man? What other choice is there? Finally, someone gets some sense. But we can't wait. We are tossing him out now. Knock this guy out. Have one. Oh, oh Jesus. Oh, oh man.
I'm not quick enough with the clicks. I'm in windowed mode, so it's hard to control sometimes. I don't know. Oh God, but whatever. We almost died because of this bitch and Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was. Oh, oh. It's his heart. Lead pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes. We're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. We'll get in there somehow. Thank you so much. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drug tour isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Lincoln. Fast. Agreed. Then I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peach Street. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. You know your way around? Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, Here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you, what's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Lily. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, okay. Uh, not right now. All right, let me know if you want to. You need to get those pills. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, honey. Anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. I'll see about that. Any word from Red? Nothing. Is he okay? Yeah, I think so. You're doing a good job. So, um... Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm fine. I just, uh... I'm good. That's good. Yeah, I think so, uh, being good is good, despite the circumstances. Yep. <laughs> Awkward. Wow, okay. that's getting to know each other. Lee is the most awkward of the awkwards. All right, let's continue. What's this? Take energy bar. Let's see if we can give the energy bar to her. No, no. Everything okay? Mm-hmm. I'd like to give it to her. Try that again. It's not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. 
Yes, I did, because I'm awesome. stage kid. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. came in here hoping to survive, but it looks like one of the lieutenant warriors is still there. Time to be a hero, maybe. Protect him, at least. Mm. We ought to clear this door for when we find the keys. I ought to clear a path to opening that door. Dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog. I missed could. out that this was a small place. How did I miss that? I knew you had to. My dad gave it to me. See, dads are smart like that. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Here we go. <laughs> Watch your fingers Excuse in the door. Excuse me, guys. Sorry about that. <sighs> Things are gonna really help. Yeah. It's not good. I don't know why everyone is crazy. Neither do I, my lieutenant. Nobody does, I don't think. I bet my dad does. Okay, here we go. <sighs> do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? Let's not talk about that. Do you play sports? I play soccer, but I don't really like it. I'm not crazy about it either. All right, a little further. Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? I hope not. It's just complicated, that's all. Why? It just is. But you love them, right? Yeah, of course. Family's gone, and I just wish things were different. Yeah. I got into some trouble, and I didn't talk to them for a while. This used to be their store. But let's just keep that between you and me, okay? Okay. Because of the trouble? Yeah, that's right. Come on. Let's get this started. Find you a bandage. Where is the first aid kit? First aid kit, first aid kit. I'll be right back. 
nothing. Search for safe kit. There we go. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? They'll, uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? Okay. Let's... Bandage it. Let's have a look at that thing. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. for that thing in here someplace. anything? Just a picture of whoever was here. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? No. I'm sticking to first names for a reason. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. We've got this little girl to take care of, and look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then okay, you have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Thanks. Don't worry about it. Yay! That's the door to the pharmacy. We should be able to find pills for Larry in there. And maybe... Open! It's locked. We need to track down the keys if we're going to help Larry. This is supposed to be telling us where we're supposed to be looking, right? to my dad's TV. That's what I figured. Nothing. Huh. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. See if we can get Clementine to move. Uh, How's 
<laughs> it's okay. Thanks for fixing it. Everyone out there seem all right to me. Yeah. Well, maybe not the sick guy. Yeah. We'll keep an eye on her. There was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. I was scared. Yeah. I was far away. That lady saved me. I'm glad she did. Maybe stay closer next time. And you're not so far away. I'm gonna try. Good. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. Alright, so... I don't understand. Oh, it's showing me what I have on me. I have a photo and I have a remote. Okay, so we got that. So there's nothing... That is the only thing we can look at in here. I guess it's time to exit. Wanna head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Hey. Yes? Yeah. You're not bad, right? I am. Why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? It's complicated. Sometimes things happen and you do things and you can't explain them. Let's uh, head back to the others. So, we need to find keys. There's just room to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest. Why would I examine the ice cream menu? Hey, Lee, maybe punching him wasn't such a good idea. There were worse plans. Says the guy who didn't get punched in the mouth. <laughs> anyway, we, Kat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. How the fuck do it? It's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. Good kid. How's she doing? good, I think. She's a tough one right there. She's just a little girl, Ken. What are you saying, Lee? She spent days surviving on her own? Yeah, she's right. Not just any little girl can do that. Are you guys all right? Oh, we're just fine, considering. How about you, Beth? We've all been through a lot. What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. It seems pretty dangerous out there, so... We ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? They, uh, own this place. They're gone. Oh, sweetie. Cat. They were good people. I wasn't around much, but yeah, they're dead. Lee, you got a second? Sure. farm. Yeah. We didn't even try to save him. That blood is on our hands, you know? We let that boy die. I know, man. I know. It wouldn't have taken much. That's what I keep thinking. I keep seeing his face. Send a group to come get you, all right? Awesome. I'll send a group. Thanks. 
sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Greg back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. He's got your family here. I'll take Charlie and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a job. Hmm. All right. That is where we're going to pause for this episode. We've been playing for well over an hour, and I'm enjoying it. I don't know about you guys. It's kind of interesting. The story's compelling. There's not a ton of gameplay, um, but uh, it's a good story, so it's pretty cool. So if you liked this episode of Scary Saturday, you could click the subscribe and the like button. That'd be great. Leave me some messages. I would love that, too. And um, I will see you on Monday. And next Saturday, we might just continue uh, cruising through The Walking Dead. So until then, have yourself a great day. Bye!